Max, and I get to play Twinkle, Twinkle, Little Star. Fire truck. I don't know where your fire truck is, Max. <clears throat> twinkle, twinkle, little star, how I wonder what you are. Oh, I have two practice other people that's up. You go play with your toys while I practice. I did my fire makeup. Truck. You lost your fire truck, Max. I lost my face. Something else. I actually did my makeup, you guys. Twinkle, twinkle, little star. What is that? Oh, I'm watching Max and Ruby. Why am I up? Because I have a lot of back pain. Oh, thank you. I did a new foundation ish. Thank you. Hi. Hi, I love your makeup. And Thank you. I'm surprised so many people are up right now. Twinkle, twinkle, star. I'm very exhausted. So let me tell you what I did today. So after I finished the live earlier, I was like, you know what? I'm going to try to go to work. I'm going to try to go dance. Did not work out again. I went to the club, Perfect. and I ended up sitting there. Mm -hmm. I did my makeup, though, and I sat at the club. I did not work. I just went, and I watched my friend dance. And, One and two. my back was hurting so bad, so I decided to go home. All right, let me read your comments. Love the lip. Oh. I don't know where I got it from, but this is this is the lip. It dries matte. I didn't even retouch it at all today. This was like a dollar. It's so good. Um, I can't sleep either. Don't worry, you're not alone. Also, you're so cute. Thank you. I wanted to put on makeup because I wanted to make myself feel a little bit better. So I did that, but obviously the makeup is kind of wearing off and stuff. But I'm kind of, what do y'all think about like the dewy look, the dewy foundation? Hold on, let me brighten this camera a little bit. Are you going to brighten? Let me see, hold on. There we go, now I can see. I like the dewy look going on. Look, as long as you make me want to try on purple. Do purple. Okay, the foundation is truly matte. I got this from, again, the dollar store, $6, long wearing high pigment foundation. I like it. It's full coverage. I don't have much time. And this it's is pretty good. I like it. But obviously, wait, I don't have on a shirt, but it's a different color. Like my body's darker than my face. So what's well, popping? You look pretty. You don't need makeup, hun. Thank you. Do you boo? I love Dewey Foundation. It looks good on you too. Thank you. I used to always love mattes. Everything has to be matte, 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 dry. Dry, dry, dry. And now I like the Dewey. I actually started enjoying like the Dewey look. Um from what's her what's her name? Um here's the lettuce. And here's the bread, Flat what's her name? Fly Tatter Sky, something like that. From Black Ink. And I saw her face, and she didn't have no contour, no highlight, just foundation, and it was dewy. And it looks so pretty. Like, it looked like her skin. <laughs> hey, girl. Hey. Have you ever stripped at L.A.? No, I've never even been to California. I am going to go make it my business to go. I'm going to try to go... I don't know if I want to go by myself or if I want to, like, go with my mom. And one, I don't know. Man, my back hurts so bad. My neck. Fire truck. What is it this time? How Max? about Atlanta? And hell no, I'm not going to the city of HIV. You can play this, no way, that's the city of HIV. I'm good. 
No, thank you. Next thing you know, next thing you know, some girl gonna be on the pole, have her coochie juice on the pole, and nobody cleans it, and like her coochie juice probably on the floor. And then I'm over here, I might like be on the floor too, and her coochie juice touch my coochie juice, and the, the bodily fluids touch, and I'm sick, and then I'm dead. And then y'all not gonna have me as a YouTuber no more. I'm good. What are you up to tonight? Why are you up so late? I don't sleep at night. I, I don't know if y'all thought I was playing, but I really don't sleep at night. I can't sleep at night, because I have too much going on in my head. I don't fall asleep until the daylight. I just can't sleep at my I can't sleep at night. Laugh my house of wild said HIV. It's true. One in one person, one in every like three people has HIV in Atlanta. I'm good. Callie has some weirdos around nighttime my clothes bring someone. I live there and be safe. Yeah, I'm gonna bring my mom. Please vlog when you come here to California. I will vlog because I'm thinking about do, doing Texas too because my friend told me about it that her family lives in Texas. And I was like, okay, so let's try it. But I'm not going to Austin, Texas because they said it's racist as shit out there. I, I don't need to deal with none of that. Sorry. Same, I have insomnia. I don't, I don't have an insomnia. You know what I have? Depression. I have depression. That's what I got. I'm depressed, and I'm worried about another nigga that probably don't even give a fuck about me right now. That's why I'm feeling right now. Don't know why I don't sleep at night at all. I stay up until 6 a.m. Yesterday, I probably stood up until 10 a.m. And then I texted my mom and my feelings about you know who, and then I finally went to sleep because me crying a lot helps me sleep. So I went to sleep and I woke up at two, and then boom. I live in Atlanta and I think those statistics are not facts. Plus, it's more gay men with those problems. Just saying, I don't believe it. Oh well. I believe in scientific facts, so if scientists that one in every third person that every time they went to a checkup and, and blah, 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 and this seems this, and I saw this in the blood, one in every third person has it. You ever try working when your depression acts up at night? Yes, well, you think I went to, why do you think I did this tonight? I tried it, I'm telling you, I tried it, but it's like, again, not only am I mentally not stable right now, but physically my back hurts so bad in my neck. So imagine, and it's just by me sitting down, like, it hurts, right? So imagine me dancing in seven inch heels for like four hours. It hurts, you know? I think it's a matter of just being careful and taking care of yourself and you'll be alright. Right. People will be dropping dead like crazy, but okay. Eh, no, cause you could you could still live with HIV, that's why there's medicine. But hey, as long as you don't got it, that's cool. As long as I don't got it, that's all I care about. But I don't get it. Why like you know the real reason why? Um, I believe because not it's not only gay men that have it because anybody could get it. If I was to do anal sex, for example, the blood from the tearing during anal sex mixing with the sperm, that's what creates the HIV because all the bacteria is missing and it's mixing and it's forming the infection. I think the main reason there's a lot of HIV is because I yeah do y'all be seeing these videos on Facebook where these girls be petty and they be like, oh, like, for example, they be like, oh, Dave, yep, I slept with you last week. You're HIV positive because I'm HIV positive. Oh, Bob, I slept with you the week before that. And you be sleeping with your wife, so y'all both HIV positive. Can y'all believe these people really do that? 
Almost Isn't that sad? Like, you have to be really miserable to be spreading your um, HIV coochie and your yes. HIV penis around to everybody just because you got it. Hungry. Isn't that crazy? Hi there, greetings from Los Angeles. Hello. You don't need a man to take care of your that? mentality. I never said I needed a man. I just said I want it. I want my man. Even though he's not my man, but I just want him. But it's just, you know, did you have to pay house fee tonight? No, I didn't work tonight. I can't work. I'm physically unable to work. Yeah, that is sad and crazy. Right? Like, what What do you, I think, what do y'all think be going through these people's heads that, that they know they have HIV, right? And they go and sleep around with people regardless. Like, you hate yourself that bad, or you hate them. Like, I can't understand if if you, like, did that, if you slept with your ex, and you hate him because he slept with your mom and your sister, so you want to give him HIV. I understand that because I'm petty, but why you want to do it to everybody? Why you want to kill everybody? The fuck is in the background? Oh, listen, 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 listen. Listen, listen. Y'all judging me too much with my cartoons, okay? This is what I'm watching, okay? Ruby and Max, mm -hmm. okay? Y'all yeah, some haters, that's why. Max, you can't take it back. I lower it. Y'all yeah, some haters. Y'all wish I could watch Ruby and Max. Y'all just hating. But I lowered it for y'all, so y'all don't feel left out. Max and Ruby cracks, okay, so many memories. Yeah, I used to watch that growing up. There was a man in the next town to me, got HIV, and was stabbing random people with dirty needles in the nightclub. Sick man. What? What? That is crazy. I used to watch Ruby and Max. Y'all know, y'all know what cartoon they need to put? Y'all remember Roly Poly Oli? Where it was like the round people and then it was the square people. I love Roly Poly Oli. Y'all remember Barney? The Wiggles? Cat and Dog? No shade. Like, you know, it was my favorite. Y'all should comment down below your favorite childhood cartoon. Shows that y'all used to watch on the VCR or regular cable. I I have all the old school, you know, Disney and stuff on VCR. Even though I don't even think they create VCRs anymore. But my favorite one was Roly Poly Oli. Comment down below your favorite old school TV show that they don't play no more. Girl, around what price are your wigs and where did you get them? They look flawless. I make my wigs. I don't buy wigs. I make my own wigs. I customize them to my hair. But the bundles I be I paid for, I think the blue one um was like uh probably three hundred altogether for the front two and the thing. How old are you? I'm twenty one. Hell yeah, I remember all of them. Dora. Yeah, Scooby Doo. Uh -uh. I'm 13, but I know some of those. Oh, girl. You didn't even exist when Roly Poly was out. I probably didn't even exist. Well, I did exist, but I don't know how old Roly Poly is. Ed, Ed, and Eddie. Recess, hey, Arnold. Hey, Arnold! Y'all know what I used to love? Little Bear. Little Bear. Anybody have any food recommendations? I'm super conflicted right now. Oreos and almond milk. Yo, does anyone know Mega Babies in... It came on... Oh, Teletubbies. Y'all remember Teletubbies? Teletubbies. Teletubbies. With the vacuum thing. Dexter's Laboratory. Barney. Most of them, to be honest. Little Bill. Little Bill. My sister loved Little Bill. But I like, um... Yes, Little Bear. I like Little Bear. 
I used to wish I was a bear so I could be a little bear. Dragon Tales. Yes. For the new people who's tuning in, we're commenting down like your favorite 90s cartoon shows that y'all used to watch growing up. Got to go, my brother. Hi, how are you? Hey. Oh my God, Dragon Tales. Brandon's and Bears. Fraggle Rock, Care Bears. Oh my God, Care Bears. Gummy Bears. Powerpuff Girls. Oh my gosh, Powerpuff Girls. Okay, okay, okay. Now, comment down below your favorite cartoon from your favorite cartoon characters. I mean, cartoon movies from Disney. Mine is the Aristocats. The Aristocats from Walt Disney Pictures. I love the Aristocats. Aladdin. I love, love The Little Mermaid. Mulan 2 is the shit. I, I watch Mulan 2 like at nighttime on Netflix. And like the scene where she's like teaching the kids, like, like a cloud, I am soft, like bamboo. Bend and do it. When she sings that part, it makes me fall asleep. Is that weird? The lady in the tramp. Aww. What else? Bambi. Bambi always makes me cry. What else? What else? Bambi always make me cry. Lion King makes me cry. What other movie? Sleeping Beauty made me cry. Dumbo. The Emperor's New Groove. Oh, that's so Raven. I love that show too. I love that show. But for real, they need to play a uh, roly poly -oly. The Beauty and the Beast, yeah. Sleeping Beauty, Little Mermaid, Mulan, Maleficent, Beauty and the Beast. No, Maleficent isn't 90s, though. You just got home? No, I've been home. The Proud Family, yeah. Oh, yeah, y'all saying all the throw black ones. Sis, no, that wasn't it. Love Robin Hood, Kim Possible, yes. Call me, reach me. If no, oh, I sang the song wrong. I don't even know the song no more. Kim Possible. The proud family coming back. Okay, what other ones? Can I ask stripper questions? Uh, you should go watch my lives and my other videos that I did stripper questions, cause you'll it'll most like most likely have the answer that you're looking for. I did three videos. I mean, you could still ask, but if I already answered it in the other videos, I'm going to just tell you, like, go watch in the other videos. The Rescuer is down under with my... Oh, y'all remember... I don't know if it's a Disney movie, but y'all remember Home Alone? I doubt that's a Disney thing. Is it Disney, Home Alone? What brand is your lipstick, MAC? Definitely not. 
It is Beauty Supply Store Lipstick. It's called Lip Land. Lip Land. And I did not even do a touch up. All right, because Mac isn't vegan. Oh, no, it's not that it's vegan, but it's just because I'm more of, because um, I have MAC products, but that was before I knew about the animal cruelty stuff. But I just like to do inexpensive makeup to basically show y'all, like, y'all don't need to spend out $300 for an eyeshadow palette. Y'all could just spend $6 and still look like y'all spent like $800 on your face because my foundation is $6 okay my eye makeup well I didn't even do shit on my eyes I was lazy I just dusted on a brown a, like a brown shadow and put black eyeliner and then a gold eyeliner and I didn't care and I left but yeah, I do more inexpensive. My favorite makeup brand is NYX. Home Alone is not Disney. Right, okay, I figured it. But they used to show it on Disney, the Disney Channel, didn't they? For like Christmas holidays, they used to show it. Or am I bugging? Damn, I'm really surprised how many people's on right here. None of y'all brought up a bug's life. <gasps> bug's life! That's how some of these girls look in the club. They look like ants. <laughs> ah, they do look like ants. Their butts be so huge with their legs mad skinny. Mad skinny, like. Eek. I saw like eight of them today. And some of them. You know what I didn't understand about, like, the injections? The girls, like, they look like they big, they kind of big the girl, they kind of big girls. But it's like, if you big, I expect you to already have a butt. But it's like, they kind of want extra. And now it looks like they have a butt sitting on top of their butt. Because you see the smoothness of their natural butt. And then you see, like, the lumps from, like, the, um, the lumps from the, the injections. And it's gross. It looks disgusting. What if it's natural? For you to have a huge butt with skinny legs? You could, but you could tell the difference from. You could tell the difference from like a fake butt to a real butt. You could always tell. You could definitely, especially nowadays, you could definitely tell. Like, I can tell everyone that got their body done. Well, not their body, just got terrible butt injections. Like, there's this lady, like, she has a big stomach. And she, oh my God, her butt looks disgusting. Disgusting. And she makes it clap and it's fucking gross. It's mad lumpy. Like, she looks like. So imagine, y'all see how small I am? Imagine my, my body figure, and then I turn to the side, and then I have, like, a box. <laughs> a box-shaped butt, and it's lumpy as shit. Y'all be like, ooh, what is that? Do they get more money the more work they get done? No. It doesn't matter if you get your body done or not. A guy's going to like what they like. A guy's going to like what they like. I don't know how guys like girls that do that to themselves. The terrible injections. Terrible. Looks a mess. But they like that, I guess. I can't. Sponge, oh, well, Spongebob is forever. Spongebob is forever. Well, not no more because the guy that did the voice died, but y'all know what I mean. Glad to see you all queued up. Oh, this is worn out. My face is, like, ready to get washed off. 
a thank you. When are we having a video of you of coming to work with you? When I am ready. I'm trying to heal myself up. What got you into stripping and did you ever have confidence issues with it? Of course. I thought that you I thought you needed a big butt. Um, honestly, I got into dancing because I was always a dancer. So as a dancer, you need to try every style of dance. So I tried it. Hi, Queen. How you feeling? I'm hurting. My back hurts. It only increases money if it makes her feel better about herself because her attitude will reflect that. Eh. I can see that, but then again, it's like not really. Cause it's like she could look, she could think that she looked bomb and stuff, but at the end of the day, it's what the guy likes. Like if the guy doesn't like your terribly gone wrong butt injections, then he don't like it. But some of these guys don't care; they take anything because I don't know. I love your makeup. Oh my god, thank you. It's a mess, but thank you. You're so pretty. Thank you. That was terrible. Oh my god, I wish I could take a picture. It looks disgusting. Please, please, please. Ladies, if y'all plan on getting your butt done, please go to a real professional. Just go to a real professional. That's it. At least make it look nice. Make it look flawless. Make it look like you spent money. Because them injections, it looks gross. Even the doctor says, like, if you want the, the, the whatever they put in cement or car oil, whatever they inject into their butt, if you want to get it out, they, it's going to be super hard to get it out. And you don't want to go through that pain. So just go to a real doctor and get your butt done. If you don't want a huge butt, then tell the doctor, I want a natural looking butt. Doesn't hurt. Whose butt? Cement, rocky butt tings. Ugh, gosh. How do they even sit? How do you sit? Oof. Ew. I already kind of struggle sitting because, like, I don't have a big butt. And I always had issues with my tailbone. For some reason, every time I sit, I feel like I have a lot of pressure on my tailbone. Because the way I sit, I kind of slouch. So I'm putting all the weight on it. So imagine if I got injections with cement in my butt. And years go by and it starts turning rocky. And I have to sit on that. Just kill me. Just cut the whole ball, the whole butt cheek off and throw it in the garbage. Just burn it. I just don't get it. Like, but then again, it don't happen to everybody because I saw Nina unrated. She said she did butt injections, but her butt doesn't look like it has issues. It, it could probably still come a time that she could eventually get issues as she get older, but it looks good. I don't know what she got injected into her, and she didn't even know what she got injected, but it looks good compared to these bitches that I've been seeing at the club with the lumps. Y'all see how matte this lip is? It like, kind of makes my lip look cracked. That's how their ass cheeks look, bro. Cracked and balled up. Gross. And hard. Oh my gosh, look at this show, y'all. Don't mind my mess, but y'all remember this show? Ooh, y'all almost seen titties. Ooh. Y'all would have all had to cash at me because I would have showed y'all my titties by mistake. <laughs> all right, let's see, let's see, let's see. How do you speak? Spanish and more. Thank you. Yes, I do. 
I understand it and I do speak it, but I have not spoke Spanish since I stopped working because nobody speaks Spanish near me, so I don't need to speak Spanish. But yes, I'm finally gaining weight, so your girl a little thick, but I need weight gaining tips. You asking the wrong person. <laughs> you asking the wrong person. I don't know about. I don't. I was always against uh, my body uh, getting fat because all my life I've been fit because I'm, I've always been very athletic. So I'm on top of myself. I barely work out now ever since I changed my weight, my way of eating. So ever since I went vegan, it's been easier for me to remove more body fat off of my body and keep it off because I'm eating better. Um, but I don't know. Maybe you could go, oh, oh, oh. Um, actually, when I gained, there was a time, believe it or not, I weighed 145. But it was because I was on the birth control, the depo shot, and that made that increased my appetite. It didn't make me gain weight, it increased my appetite, so I was always eating. And the second way I got, I gained weight as well was, but once I got off a of depot, I lost the weight um, because I kept working out and I kept burning my body fat. Um, but the second way was because when I tore my meniscus in my kneecap, I had to get on steroids to keep my muscles. Like they gave me a certain steroid, I guess, whatever doctor gave me to keep my, my like ligaments intact and stuff to keep it strong and to help with the pain. So the fact that I was injured, I couldn't work out. I started gaining weight and then I was eating and then gaining weight, eating. But it never looked bad because I just always maintained it, I guess. Made sure everything was tight. And then I started working out again and then I lost the weight. Well, I didn't lose the weight, I just burned the fat. I, it gets, okay, I get it's all about fantasy for men, but damn. Over half of them don't have standards or had their first crushes beyond some cartoon characters. To be honest, with so many women overdoing their plastic surgery, they all start to look like fake cartoon characters. No, girl, they look like ants. <laughs> they look like ants. Freaking huge butts and skinny. I don't like that, bro. At least, at least, okay. Um... If it was me, let's say if I was uh not really big, but I had uh, some weight on me, but naturally my legs are skinny and I'm just more bigger on top, let's say that, I would ask the doctor to like, if he could take out the fat from my stomach and my back and put it like, if it's too, if it's like too much in the butt to put it in my thighs so at least my thighs could match my butt. Because it doesn't look bad if, like, your calves are, like, small and then your thighs are big and then your butt is, you know, matches your thighs. It don't look bad because I've seen girls like that naturally. So that's what I would have done. I'm like, okay, take some fat and put it into my thighs so it, it could at least match my butt. But I don't think these girls be thinking like that. Nina has never showed her butt without Photoshop. Really? Even her videos? Because in her videos, like, she just did the lingerie thingy that she was uh, modeling for to see how it fits and stuff. And I seen her butt. Th thoughts on the movie Hustlers? It was all right. Ugh, I hate BC. It depends on what kind of weight you want to gain and why you are skinny now. Yeah. Yeah, it does depend. Um... The, I guess, I mean, what other type of weight would you want? Well, yeah, because some people want to actually get fatter, I guess, and more people want to just gain muscle mass. Mines, I'm more focused on gaining muscle mass, and yeah, but girl, honestly, I'm about to go rip my leg muscles. Be happy. <laughs> Humans like. Everything to look symmetrical, so it makes sense to think like that, right? First, birth is obviously, yeah. Like, also, another thing how old are you, anyways? You want to gain weight, 
Because me, another thing that I'm against is I, I don't know if y'all noticed, but there was a certain time, probably like even three, four years ago, whatever, where girls, probably even before that, teenagers wanted to get thick. Thick. So, and everybody on Facebook and stuff was making thick look okay, like be okay, which it is okay, but it's the fact that you're still a teenager, your body isn't fully developed. You're going to gain all this weight as a teenager, and then you're going to cry when you want to lose that weight in your late 20s and in your 30s because that's when your metabolism starts to slow down a lot. So I never understood the why you, like, why people so young want to get thick because I'm like, yo, you're going to be thick now, and then you're going to be fat when you're older, especially if you don't work out. Like, I don't know. Ain't nothing wrong with that. If it ain't nothing wrong with it, but it's just my like does it make sense? Like you wanna you wanna rush your body weight, you don't wanna let it do it naturally. I don't know. I personally I don't even wanna be thick. I like being slim. I like being petite because I'm short. So if I become thick, I'm gonna look like a freaking potato. Because I'm short. So shorter people, if we want to get thick, we're just going to get fat. Because everything's so squished together in one height. Like, we're just squished. Compared to tall people, everything, like, evens out when you're tall. But I'm sh I'm small. I'm small. I'm 5'1". I'm a little person. Short, thick girls are just compressed. Exactly. We're, like, just all in... Well, I'm not thick, but they're just like in a little box. We're just so if I was to get thick, I'm gonna be a potato. I'm gonna be fat. I'm 18. I've always struggled with gaining weight where I had bulimia growing up. I don't necessarily want to be thick. I just want to be a healthy weight. The way I'm at right now isn't really healthy. Work out instead of trying to gain fat, gain muscle. That's it. Because you could still weigh, I'm 128. Um, when I went to 145, they tried to say that it was not, not health. Well, not healthy. I was overweight. But the thing is, when my doctor actually checked me, he was like, you're just muscle. I said, yeah, I work out. And that was even when I was on the birth control and stuff, like I still worked out. I just gained muscle mass. Like, I turned the fat into the muscle, and it was not an issue. Nina's videos is the angle. Her butt is very large and very thick. She does have some dimpling also. Oh, really? Damn. Well, I guess i never seen it, like, closed up. Because I don't watch all her videos. I watch most of them, though. Like, if I get the alert, then I'll watch it. But I don't go searching to see what she uploads. I, I just wait till it's an alert. You're 18? Honestly, what age do women stop growing? growing? I think we stop growing, like... Someone told me 25. Or I think that's boys. I think the men stop at 25 and then females stop at 18. Correct me if I'm wrong. 23. Oh. Yeah, girl, so just give yourself some time. You still got time. You don't know what can happen within that period of time. We have another growth spurt at about 25. Yeah, and we have another growth spurt if you get pregnant not in height but like your body changed drastically of course when you're pregnant depending on how you take care of yourself and your genetics our brain isn't fully developed until 25. Hmm. oh so that explains all the brain farts that i be having i be kind of slow thank you i appreciate the sweet responses of course
Okay, weird. Oh, yeah. The main goal is to gain healthy weight, meaning muscle. Muscle. Have you made any fall vegan recipes? I am not a chef. No. I just go on YouTube and look up different vegan meals or I'll just see, I'll just ask my mom how she makes, for example, uh, like like empanadas and then I'll use my meat alternatives and then boom. Yes, pregnancy makes your body go through hell, been to hell and back twice, still trying to bounce back from my last trip. You see? What if what if that could be like you skinny now that if you just if she decides to get pregnant, then boom, all that weight hits her that she been missing. And then she gonna be like, Oh shit, I wish I was skinny again. You know? Uh can you do more some story times, please? Yes. Are you on birth control right now? No, I'm not sexually active. I am not sexually active. <clears throat> Can I massage? Oh, what's well, a massage? Can I message you on Instagram about muscle gain? It's okay if you can't talk. I just have to go. Yeah, you can. I probably will respond tomorrow, a little later. Celibate? No, I'm just single. Not celibate. Well, I guess technically celibate because I'm not going to get in a relationship. No time soon. The only person that I will keep having sex with is Kenneth, but that's probably not going to happen. So, no sex for a long time. A long, long, long time. Thank you so much. If I can't come back, I can't good night. Let's have a good night, Angel. <laughs> oh my gosh. I, do you? I really think that, like, People that did like the Disney shows for um, like kids, I think they're low key very miserable because they're too happy on these shows. Friends give friends a hand. Nobody cares. <laughs> Are you laying on the wall? I am. Because I can't sleep. How do you stay motivated to work out? I have had depression for years now. I choose to pick up a spliff as a relief, but it makes me lazy. Of course it makes you lazy. When you smoke, it makes you lazy. When you smoke, it makes you tired. When you smoke, it makes you gain weight. You know how? Because I'm sure those cravings start to kick in and then you're gonna eat and you're just gonna go to sleep. So you're sleeping on top of food, on top of food. On top of that, you probably most likely still consume animal products and those animal products do not digest in a human body properly. It takes probably two to three days. That's why people shit every two to three days. It just sits in your stomach and it makes you bloated and then it makes your shit stinks and then it makes your skin break out. That's generally speaking though. Uh, I choose to pick a, uh, oh yeah, I read that. Um, but yeah, to answer your question, um, I don't know. I just look in the mirror every day and I'm like, ugh, I don't like my stomach. Let me fix it. So I do that. And that's how I fix my stomach. Cause my stomach was not the way y'all see it now. It was more pudgy, but that was like, I learned it was more water weight. But I got rid of that shit real fast. So now I'm just working on getting my abs and stuff. And I just work out on my stomach every day. Because I want it even smaller. 
I made a vegan apple cobbler last night was easy. Some vanilla coconut ice cream. Mmm. Yum. You got to eat a salad before the blunt. Use the high to work out. Push your highness to your advantage. Okay, I can't answer that because I don't smoke. That just don't make sense. Because every time I see somebody high, they're like this. Every time. In the club. So, <laughs> I'm like, I don't think anybody can function like that. Probably if you're on crack, you'll be like this. You know? Like a crackhead, like... Let's do some work. I don't know. I don't know shit about drugs. All I know is I I only take Tylenol and Benadryl and muscle relaxers if really, really needed. And that's and I believe that sometimes that kind of has to do with my pain too because I don't like taking medication i never had to take well, well i never had to take it ever since i changed my habits hey you look like you're doing better today nope i am just being distracted i'm being distracted and i'm watching this weird old school cartoon show i guess Working out while high is so hard if you must both try to do so after the gym. Or you don't smoke at all. Because obviously it's a bad habit. And it's stopping you from doing something that you actually need to do. It's exercise. The fucking ocean. Stupid show. Stupid. Oh, hey, when I went like that, my nose hurt again. Isn't that nice? Oh, nobody cares about no wiggling in the seat. Oh, my God, this show is making me miserable. Um... What is your biggest comment? I see 30 people, 30 people here. So I want all 30 or 31. Comment your biggest pet peeve in a relationship. Comment that below. Well, actually, not in a relationship. Your biggest pet peeve that will probably stop you from getting into a relationship with somebody. Mine, personally... I can't date nobody that smokes. I can't. Any type of smoking, I will never date them. I can't do it. Immature people. Liars. Okay. Alcoholic. Exactly. I'm with that too. I can't do that. It's okay for you to drink if we go out, but mm, I prefer it. I prefer not because I don't do it. Not money hungry, can't do it. Mm hmm. Damn, it's 31 people only have how many people comment? Four people. What's your biggest pet peeve? It's easy. It could be one word. MIA for days, no contact. Non vegan smokers, drinkers, drugs, liars, broke, dirty. I'm dead. She, I'm dead. Said dirty. And if they're toxic also. This is childish, but if a man has long nails. Oh, ew! I hate that. That's dirty. I don't like that. I don't like long nails on men either. It's gross. It's gross. I was really excited about our show. 
Ew, and then you, they go like this, hey, and you see, it looks like mine's, like, hey, like, ew, what is that? Dirty nails, ew. I hear you on that. I hear you. Being cheap and always broke. Ew, no long nails on guys, especially just the pinky. <coughs> the, <coughs> the pimp nail. <coughs> on the opposite, my nail broke. So I need to glue on another nail. When they want you to pay half for your meal. Oh. When they complain. This might be a little shade. It might, I might throw a little shade in here. When you when you've been holding them down with food, you never complained, you never questioned them about money, anything. But soon as soon as you start chilling, like relaxing on paying for shit, and you make them pay, well, you don't make them. They do pay for your meals for the next two weeks, and then they start complaining. No shade, but shade. Been holding you down. I never complain about buying you any food, sending you money for food. Soon as it's my turn. Hey, I've been paying for yourself for the past two weeks. So what? So what? You supposed to pay for every fucking thing since I met you. So what? Being dirty in general, I know a dude who I'd marry in a heartbeat the sweetest ever, but damn, he does not tell you it. So what he smell like? Don't tell me he smell like goat titty milk. Having a kid. Tell them, girl. Right, I can't date no one who has a kid. What a cheap ass crazy baby mamas can't do it. Trying to go 50-50 on everything. I don't mind 50-50. But don't be complaining. Like, I don't mind 50 50, and then sometimes I could pay for the whole thing. But don't complain when it's your turn to pay for the whole thing. Or when you think that it's too consistent that you're paying for the whole thing. And you living in my, and you staying in my house for rent free, bitch. Don't, don't try me. Don't. You paying for my food. Yeah, goat titty milk. Y'all ever smell goat titty milk? Let me rephrase this. Have y'all have y'all ever smelled like actual cow titty milk? Cause I know some of y'all still drink cow titty milk, but have y'all smelt it and tasted it before it was processed to taste like how y'all get it at the grocery stores? Like, have y'all ever tasted it and like smelt it raw? It's salty as fuck. It's gross. I know exactly what you mean. That's why I hate milk. I stick to my almond milk and my soy milk and my oat milk and my pistachio milk and my cashew milk and my rice milk. I stick to all of my my freaking plant-based milks. I don't need no fucking cow titty milk. That salty shit. <laughs> you know what makes me laugh? Like people that do drink cow cow milk still, they'll drink cow milk in a heartbeat. But how much you want to bet if somebody was like, "Oh, you want some of my breast milk?" They'd be like, "Ew, no, gross." Like what? You're a human. Like you're a human drinking from a cow. Like you look weird. <laughs> that don't make sense. And it's crazy because I grew up drinking cow milk, and I and my mom used to be like. You want some of my milk? I'm like, oh, I don't want that. Or my sister would say that. Well, I drank my sister's titty milk before. It was salty. I was like. <laughs> but I wasn't sick no more after I drank her milk. <laughs> but oof. Now that I see it, now that I'm on the green side and I look, look into it, I'm like, yo, you're drinking from an animal. <laughs> That's not your same species. 
<laughs> like, would you drink dog milk? <laughs> Breast milk is sweet, depending on what they what they eat. Actually, yes, my favorite sesame milk. I never drunk sesame milk. Human breast milk is supposed to be sweet, but like cow natural breast milk, it's kind of salty. It's kind of salty because it has pus in it. I just finished drinking almond milk and chocolate cake. Oh, I hate you. I'm jealous. I want I love cake, but I don't know how to bake cake. Cuz I tried making brownies before and um the brownies, if you pick up the brownie, it was flappy. Like a rubber. I don't think it's supposed to do that. I don't think a brownie's supposed to flap like that. But the brownie I made was flappy. And I had to throw it in the garbage. Because it was flappy. Uh, What, whatever relationship y'all had before, right? What made y'all end the relationship if y'all ended it? Like, what was the cause for y'all ending that relationship? Or them ending y'all relationship? What was the cause? Was it a stupid reason? Stop showing me attention. Alicia, hey girl. Hey. You're so cute. Love the color. Girl, thank you. Yeah, okay. Stop showing me attention. Well. Y'all can keep comment. Damn, yes, 30 people watching, only one person. Write that. Don't be creepy now. I have a few I have a few people that be in my club and they subscribe to me and they just be staring at me. They don't say hi or nothing. They just stare at me. I don't like that. Like, talk to me. Don't just stare at me because it's gonna scare me. You're gonna scare me away. Ooh, let me charge my phone because it says low battery. Charge my phone. Okay. Plug in. Let's see. Oh, look at that. I just saved my phone. Okay, 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 okay. He cheated on me. A replacement for her ex. Oh, she replaced you for her. Oh, you was her ex's replacement? That's sad. <laughs> Sorry. You're so pretty. Thank you. I can't bake either. I ha I have everyone else do it. Yeah, my sister could bake. I can't bake. My brownies were flat. LOL. Hey girl, I was just watching another video of you right now. You made five sixty nine in one night. Yes, ma'am. Yes. What? It's not charging. Oh, yes, it is. Okay, another question, because everybody else is taking mad long to write. They just want to watch. You like ASMR? I do. I like stuff that has to do with hair play, because it makes me fall asleep. Because I like when my hair gets played with. Okay, how about this? Let's play a game, okay? Let's play a game. Y'all have two choices, right? Would y'all rather be on an airplane that is crashing and it's like gonna fall, like it's crashing, or 
would y'all like or would y'all rather be on a boat that's sinking? Which one? A crashing airplane or a boat that's sinking? Yeah, you're going to die regardless, though. But which way would you rather die? By your airplane crashing down to the floor from tremendous heights or um, you getting stuck on a boat and it's sinking under the water and you die of drowning? Okay, let's see. Plane, plane, boat, boat that's sinking, plane, plane crashing, fast impact. But it's still your, yeah. I mean, plane crashing, I might have a heart attack and die because <laughs> I hate heights. But I'm a good swimmer, so I might have a high chance of making it out of that boat. Because I don't like people. I'm not one of those people that hold the door open like, run out, come on. The boat's sinking. And I'm like, fuck you, bitch. I'm out. And I'm going to swim. Boat, boat. Okay. Did everybody answer? Let me see how many. Two, four, six, eight, ten. Nope. Not even half. I'd rather have a fast death than to fill myself down. Yeah, somebody said that. Well, Kenneth told me that he heard from somebody that um one of the most painful ways of dying is drowning. I'd rather have a fast death than to fill myself. Oh, I read that. But you out in the ocean somewhere, right? You in the middle of the ocean. And the boat. Like a big rogue wave. If you guys don't know what a rogue wave is, a rogue wave is a hundred feet foot tall wave, and it, they have like, like you know how there's scientists that created stuff that you can determine the earthquakes and when a tsunami is coming. A rogue wave, you can't determine that at all. Like nobody will see it coming. It just happens, and they said it's kind of more deadly than a tsunami because it's one wave and it could damage kill on impact type shit sharks can't eat me can't swim forever fast impact exactly that's why you learn how to float can't swim but you could float you won't even need to swim because me i trained myself with swimming because i if i didn't know fun fact i was literally preparing myself to join the navy because at the time, my goal was to be one of the first Navy SEALs to go out into um, war. But obviously, it didn't work out. So I was, training myself, I was training myself every day in the pool at my dad's house. And I learned how to float without, you know, some people have to, like, use their hands to stay afloat. I could have my head, I could hold my head back like that and float in the water for an hour straight. Probably longer. And I could relax. Even with waves coming. Like, my body, I know how to do it. So, I could float for hours and everybody else will die and drown. Swim, float, swim, float. Yep. Swim. And then when you're tired, just float. Relax. Breathe. Look up. Think about something else. And then swim. Float to where, though? You ever seen Cast Away, the movie? I've never seen that. Have you seen Open Waters? Oh, with the sharks? Honestly, sharks, you know, these directors, they exaggerate it. Because how, you're most likely to get in a car crash and die in a car crash than a shark attack. Sharks don't really attack. They don't. Like, if that's the case, if they really attack... All those people that do scuba diving, you know, deep sea diving, and they're swimming with sharks, they would have been eaten up already. And this is a great white shark, then I don't know. You know? You never seen Castaway, girl? You need to. No, I never. Oh my God. Hey, boo. Hey, Gabby. Uh, hi, Samuel. All right, next question, all right? Get ready to comment, okay? Um. Would you rather get stabbed in your kneecap four times or shot in your kneecap four times? Stabbed or shot? Comment right now.
Hurry up. Hurry up. Hurry up. Hurry up. Shot. Shot. Okay. Hurry up. We got 36 people watching. Stabbed. Oof. Stabbed. Oof. Ooh, all of them sound painful as shit. Oh my gosh. But because I'm scared of heights, I would definitely have a heart attack first before the plane crashed. You know, everybody keep commenting shot or stab in your kneecap four times. But I'm going to just speak about the previous question. I take allergy medicine so I could sleep on an airplane. So I probably would be, I wouldn't even know we're crashing because I'll be passed out sleep. Shot, shot. Damn, everybody want to get shot in there. Oh, wait, wait. Let's see what we're doing. Okay. Two. Girl, what the fuck? Stabbed? I don't care. That's a hard one. You got to choose. Stabbed in your kneecap? Listen, somebody somebody is right now, you know, holding your mouth, and they're telling you, you want me to stab you in your kneecap four times or shoot you in your kneecap four times? You got to pick right now or you get shot in the head. So pick. Pick, Gabby. Before the shoot in your head, you got to pick. A bullet is going to go in first. I would think bullets would do more damage, right? Stab. Bruh, I'm going to shoot then. <laughs> there wouldn't be any need to shoot for a time unless it was like 22. Well, they'll probably... They'll probably like shoot you right at your ACL and then shoot you right at your tendon and then shoot you right through the kneecap and shoot you through your meniscus. You never know. But you got to hurry up because if you don't choose one of them, you're going to get shot in the head. You got to choose. Damn, now I got to choose. I don't even know. I think shot because it's fast. They could go pop, 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 pop real fast. So, yeah, I stand by my answer. All right, y'all ready for the next one? Okay. If y'all had, if they was, if you guys was to receive a thousand dollars each hour, what would you choose to sleep for 24 hours? Remember, you're going to get a thousand dollars for each hour you stay. Sleep for 24 hours in an abandoned asylum or sleep in a coffin for 24 hours buried six feet deep. Choose. You're going to get paid $1,000 for every hour you last. But you have to choose if you're going to stay in an asylum for 24 hours by yourself or in the coffin six feet under by yourself for 24 hours. Y'all fucking crazy. Asylum, get the fuck out of here. Hell no. Y'all do that shit by yourself. I hallucinate. I'ma see the little kids laughing in the wheelchair moving. Y'all fucking crazy. Y'all crazy. I'll do the coffin. I'm fine with the coffin. I could sleep, take a Tylenol, take a Tylenol PM, knock the fuck out. Y'all crazy. Asylum? Coffin with air supply. I mean, yeah, of course, because there's going to be people monitoring you. Asylum, girl, what if somebody forget about you in the coffin? They can't do that. They ain't fucking sue, bitch. You sue. <laughs> but asylum? Oh, no, 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 no. Because then next thing you know, y'all going to hear... Like the doors opening, and y'all gonna hear the little kids, and y'all gonna hear shit. Look, I'm getting chills talking about that. Ooh, yeah, that's how y'all know it's real. Y'all crazy. Y'all crazy, for real. Okay, next one. Y'all ready? Y'all like this game? It's fun? It's keeping y'all entertained? Okay, so the next one, right? Let's see, let's see, let's see. Oh yeah, the dark side. Okay. Um would y'all rather Oh my gosh. This might be a little bit graphic. Okay, this is a life or death situation. If y'all don't do these, y'all gonna y'all gonna probably get your neck cut off slowly, okay? So this is serious. Okay? 
Would you rather let eight different people piss in your mouth or oh my gosh this is so gross i'm sorry y'all would y'all let eight different people piss in your mouth and y'all have to drink it or would y'all let eight different people shit on your body Which one? Eight different people piss in your mouth and you have to drink it, or eight different people shit in your body, shit on your body, and you have to like rub it in, or your neck get cut off. Y'all gonna be, y'all gonna die. So choose: piss in your mouth or shit all over your body from eight different people on your body, sis, your chest, your stomach, on your body, smeared like you're taking a bath. <laughs> How much we get to pay for them to do that? No, y'all gonna die. Y'all neck gonna get cut off slowly. It's no money. Is y'all die or y'all get pissed in your mouth or shit it on your body? <laughs> choose before your neck, your neck get cut off. Y'all gotta choose right now. Pissed in your mouth by eight different people or shit it on your body by eight different people. I don't see no comments. TikTok before they cut off your neck. TikTok. <laughs> Come on, people. Okay, let me read these comments. I don't like being buried alive. I will start a panic. The numbers just getting higher. Laughing my ass off. That reminds me of your story time about the private party. Oh my gosh. How much are you? Nope. I'm claustrophobic. I will have a panic attack, so I'm picking this out. Mm -mm. I'm I'm halluc I'm a hallucination phobic. I'm picking the coffin. I can't be in the asylum. Yes, that reminds me of story time. Oh, y'all can't answer it. Y'all better hurry up. The knife is getting close to y'all neck. Y'all might die soon. Piss in your mouth or shit it on your body. Hurry up. Hurry up. I'm not going to say my answer until after. Hurry up. Y'all got to drink the piss or get shit it on. I'm sure all of us got shit on once in our life by our, like, our exes that you know did us wrong so let's go but this time is literal shit y'all can't answer probably drink oh carmen you're drinking eight different people's piss you can't be my friend i can't talk to you I think I changed my body. Pooped on the body. <laughs> Shitty. <laughs> Samuel, shit. <laughs> Come on. It's 31 of y'all watching this. Well, 30. Y'all need to hurry up. Only two people. Wait. Yeah. Three people answered. Poop. Okay. Let's go. Piss in your mouth or your neck gonna get cut off. Or y'all could get shitted on, literally. By eight different people. Ooh, I don't even want to know the smell. Ugh. Poop. Ugh. Damn, my skin will break out. To be honest, hot Cheetos smell like pee. Oh, uh, I don't eat Cheetos. I wouldn't know what that smells like. Poop. Okay, come on, people. Hurry up so I can ask y'all the next question. Crash through a wooden table. Nope, you nope. Is you got three options: get pissed in your mouth, and you have to drink it by eight different people. Get shitted on by eight different people, or your neck gets cut off slowly. Choose wisely. Let me see. There's twenty eight people. He said, off of my head. I'm dead. I'm dead. Come on. I need at least 10 comments from y'all. There's only six right now. So I can ask the next question. Come on. Y'all can't be. It's just questions. I know it's messing with your head right now, but y'all got to answer it. 
Okay, y'all want to know my answer? I don't know, bitch. I'm stuck too. <laughs> I don't know what the answer would be. I can't drink nobody piss, bro. I can't. I can't. <laughs> bitch, I'm gonna die. I'm gonna just die. Just kill me. I'm gonna just die. Y'all never changed diapers before. Hell no. Hell no. I never changed diapers a day in my life. Hell no. Get cheated on or get scammed, used for money. Um, I never change diapers. Ever. Ever. Every time, like, my nephew, he would use the, if he used the bathroom and my sister was like, oh, can you wipe his butt? I used to throw him in a bathtub and we had the water thingy from the shower and I used to shoot it in his butt to clean it. Because I'm not touching that. Hell no, I'm good. All right, I'm going to ask the next question. Y'all ready? Y'all got to answer this time. Would y'all rather... Okay, let's see. Hmm. Would y'all rather... Have no legs or no arms? Would y'all have? Would y'all rather have no legs or no arms? No arms. I'd rather have no legs because at least I could still eat. I could still beat my face. I could, you know, I could push my wheelchair. Um, I could brush my teeth, I could do my hair, and I could still wash my body, so I'd rather have no legs. No legs, no legs, no legs, no legs, no arms, no legs, one leg, one arm, nope, no legs, no Legs or no arms, okay. Next question. <laughs> Next question. Would y'all rather have sex with a old, a old wrinkly, you know, for, if Okay, for girls, would y'all rather have sex with an old, wrinkly, pee pee man, an old, wrinkly penis, right? Or would y'all rather have sex with a homeless man who haven't showered in eight years, but he's rich? And for the guys, would y'all rather have sex with an old lady with a wrinkly, flappy vagina where her lips flaps and everything? Or would you rather sleep with a homeless woman that haven't showered in eight years but is rich? The old man. <laughs> yeah, I'll choose the old man. He probably can't even get stiff. He probably can't even get hard. So I'll, I'll sleep with the old man. <laughs> I'm like, I'm like, hey, daddy, is it even up? Do you need five more programs? Still don't work. I give his ass sleeping medication so he can pass the fuck out. Old lady, old man hasn't showered. No, no, no. Old man. Okay. How about this? If y'all had the choice... To kill two of two people that you're really close with, right? For a billion dollars, one billion dollars, who would it be? Two people. 
that you're really close with, you have to choose those two people. Which one would it be? For one billion dollars, you won't get in trouble, you won't get caught, but you have to kill them. Your sisters, oh my god. Jeez. Shit. Myself. Oof. Then you won't get a billion dollars. Bestie and cousin. Damn, what she do to you? <laughs> my dad and stepdad. <laughs> Y'all are horrible, horrible people. Horrible. My boyfriend. Oh! I'm dead and I just got, came back to life. I'm dead. Let me die again. <laughs> she said my boyfriend. Baby daddies, dad, stepdad, my man. Then the billion dollars will go to. I'm dead. Oh my gosh. She said, my boyfriend. I'm screaming. <sighs> that is crazy. Okay. Damn, yeah, fucked up. They said baby daddy, boyfriend, my dad. Yeah, horrible, horrible. Who raised you people? Horrible. Okay, okay, okay. Next one. Okay, next question. High school friend and ex-boyfriend. Who would you kill? Who would I kill? I'd probably kill. I'm gonna have to delete this live after. I'd probably kill my, uh, I'd probably kill my stepmom and her son. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> my father and stepdad are horrible people. Nah. My neck hurts, bro. Oh gosh. But I'm not even close to them, so I don't even think that counts. But whatever. Okay, next question. Would y'all... Would y'all rather... Have someone put a fist up to the wrist in your butt? <laughs> Boy, too. Would y'all rather have someone put their fist in your butt? Or they use a dildo with spikes on it in your butt? They got to put it in three times. One, two, three. A fist in your butt? Or a dildo with spikes in your butt? <laughs> ah, I'm squeezing my butt cheeks because I would rather die. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Fist. Go ahead and get me with your fist. <laughs> I was on my way to bed then. This is what I'm getting into. My man said you're crazy. Oh, he got to choose too. I tell your man, he got to choose a fist in his ass or a dildo with spikes in his ass. Three times. Quick. One, two, three. She said fist pump. <laughs> oh, I'll be needing a diaper. Oh, yeah, I'd rather have a fist in my butt because them spikes could, like, shred my insides. And then when it's time for me to shit, ooh, I'll be screaming like, ah! <laughs> ah, man. A fist. He said fist pump. Oh, my gosh. Put mad lube. Make it quick. One, two, three. I don't even, can your, could our butthole even get that big? Like, I know vaginas could stretch, because hello, they give birth to, like, humans. But can your butthole get that big? Like, I never even seen that on a, like, a porno. I never seen that. I don't even want to see that. I'll be scared that, like, something might come out. 
Nope. Oh my god, I couldn't pick. I would feel so bad. It's three times. One, two, three. <laughs> oh, I couldn't pick. I would feel so bad. Oh, with the killing. I would rip. I would rip. Oh my god. I think everybody would die. Okay, next question. Um what's the next question? Oh, I got one. Would I rather Lex Alexa fist pump on Pornhub, please? Oh no. Okay, I got one. Would you rather rob a bank butt naked? Butt ass naked. No underwears, no bras. Rob a bank butt ass naked. And be on national TV because, of course, you got caught butt ass naked. Or do uh, do a, a, a live webcam. Like porn stuff, but naked. Rob a bank, but naked. Or do a live webcam, but naked. Rob a bank, yeah. Rob a bank. At least you won't go to jail. Yeah, get that money. Run to a different country. Do a web live webcam from Tokyo. Oh, well, it's easy for you to say you're a guy. So it'll be like, oh, ooh, another guy showing his dingling. But for women, like, they'll be like, oh, my gosh, he's such a hoe. Oh, my God. Bank, but I have tattoos. Yeah, I have tattoos, too. I'll get caught. Like, I got caught on camera robbing a bank or, like, I get locked up, caught. So it's like... You didn't get caught yet, but you kind of got caught. Like, you're not arrested, but, like, you know when the helicopters, like, in GTA, the helicopters are, like, following y'all because, you know, y'all, like, driving away, and they have, they also have you on camera because, of course, you went into the bank but naked, you know? Y'all should all watch. Yeah, I watched the heist. I watched that. That's why I said, yeah, I'll be on a different island. I'll be in, out of the country since your imagination. Yeah, that's what I do all day. All right, next one. Yes, am I right? Next one. Would y'all rather? Let's see. Would y'all rather sleep and have an out of body out of body experience, but you're like you're in somebody else's body, like your spirit leaves your body and you see your body on your bed and you're allowed to go into somebody else's body and live their life for two weeks, or would you rather? Just like die for a whole year and then you come back. So, would you rather leave, be able to leave your body, have an out of body experience, leave your body, and go live somebody else's life for two weeks, but you can't choose the person? It just happens. Or you die for a whole year. First one period, die for a whole year. My state just legalized, free, free to tip. The highlight though, thank you. Out of body experience, I'ma head out for a year, die for a year. Damn, but you know what's crazy? You know what I didn't think about before I asked that question? If y'all die for a year, right? Who's gonna be taking care of our body? You know, cause like if we dead, we frozen and we start decaying and shit. You know, I'm back. I have to get a stream. Out of body experience. Okay, good night. All right, good night, Samuel. Out of body might be interesting. I'm back. To be honest, I will do the out of body experience too. Because I had an out of body experience. I think almost everybody, if you dream, I think almost everybody had an out of body experience at least once. 
Because I had an out-of-body experience when I was still living in Brooklyn. And I literally saw myself laying down. And um, I went to sit on my bed. Like, in the out-of-body experience, I went to sit on my bed. And then I actually woke up in real life. Out of body, I'm not dying, period. As long as it ain't sleep paralysis. Ooh! You stole my question. Are we still live? Yes. We are still live. Okay. Would you, I would do a live porn ca cam? Holly, I think your mess, your comments are coming in mad late because we already on the next question, sis. Okay, next one. Would y'all rather get sucked into a whirlpool, uh, like the whirlpool in the ocean? Listen, we're not talking about sleep paralysis. Uh-uh, uh-uh. No, we're not talking about that. Because, again, my imagination, y'all know my imagination. I live by myself. I can't deal with horror movies when I'm by myself. I can't deal with that shit. Okay? No. Would y'all rather be stuck in a whirlpool and y'all get sucked into it? Y'all don't know where it goes, somewhere underwater? Or get sucked into a, a black hole in outer space? So a black hole in outer space, nobody knows where it leads to, or a whirlpool in the middle of the ocean, you don't know where it leads to. Which one? You're going to die either way. But you can choose your death. <laughs> Isn't that nice? Suck in the water, whirlpool, out of space, black hole. Oh my God, that's a scary one. I don't care. I would be scared to drown and scared to suffocate. No, but in the black hole, you have your gear. But it's just the fact that of course, nobody have yet discovered what's in the black hole because nothing ever comes back from it. So, that's scary. Space would be pretty. But not that black hole. You'll be probably torn to pieces or you'll probably never die. So, you probably die slowly. Or you could probably get crushed. You don't know what happens in a black hole. Oh, my God. Hi, Sapphire. I love you so much. Thank you. Oh, well, then I choose space. Honestly, I would choose the water because I have a really bad fear of, you know what I know? This is not the heights It's that I'm scared of. It's me imagining myself falling from those drastic heights that scare me. So I don't think I could do the outer space experience because I can't touch the floor. I'm going to panic. And I'm floating. I don't know. I don't want my butterflies in my stomach to act up with that. If I have like a drop or I get sucked in somewhere, I will panic like so bad. You know, black hole. I bet the visuals would be amazing. Yeah, the visuals might be amazing until you get crushed. Or probably froze to death. Or you probably get burnt to life. We don't know what happens in a black hole. Time for bed. Have a good night, girl. Night. Um, and then the whirlpool. At least we everybody knows that what causes whirlpools is when like there's an earthquake under the water. Like, well, not an earthquake, but like it's cracking. Technically, an earthquake under the water. So that's what makes the water sucks in. So at least I know that if I'm at the bottom, I could probably like hold on to something, you know. Hey, beauty watching from the Philippines. Hey! Yeah, you're fun. Out of body experience because I did it before when I was sleeping. Damn, Holly, you're like, your comment is so late. I don't know, it's probably your reception. Okay, next question. I'll probably ask like a few more questions and then I'm gonna go shower, get sucked into the crack. Or get sucked, yeah, I could probably get sucked into the crack and I'll probably drown. I don't know. Next question. Would y'all rather skydive with no parachute? Skydive with no parachute. 
or scuba dive with no oxy with no oxygen gear. Let's see who's gonna answer that one, cause that was hard. Skydive, no parachute. Scuba dive, no oxygen gear. Scuba dive. Skydive. Oh my god, damn, I knew it. My connection is so slow. Scuba diving with no oxygen because then I just swim up for the air. Skydive, I'm pulling the Tom Cruise. <laughs> Scuba dive. Okay, okay, okay. Next one. Next question. Skydive. I think the air would slow me down a bit. Maybe I land in a pool or something. Shit. If you falling from drastic heights, when you know. It, like regardless if you're falling from a drastic height, even if you land in water, it's still it is still you will still land as hard as you would if you was to land on concrete. That's a scientific fact. Landing on water from a drastic height is the same pain you will feel landing on concrete. Like you could still like break your body. Just joined. What are we doing? We are asking, um, would you rather questions. Well, I'm asking that, and y'all have to answer. That's what we're doing. Okay. Damn it, let me live, sis. <laughs> nope, you're gonna die. <laughs> okay, next question. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Would y'all rather... Sleep on an island where there's an active volcano or would y'all rather get stuck in a submarine? So you're on the island with the active volcano for as long as you think you could survive and you're stuck in a submarine for five months deep underwater. Which one? Comment. Sleep on the island because it may not go off. No, the volcano is active. It's, it's active. Like, volcano sleep in trouble in paradise. Island stuck on the island. Yeah, I would do stuck on the island too because, again, I'm a strong swimmer. So if the sis decides to, like, explode because she's upset and try to melt me, I'm going to jump in that water and I might have a higher percentage of living, you know, surviving longer on the ocean because I know how to float than for me to get burnt alive. Island, I can live it my Moana dreams. I hate you. You stupid. <laughs> Fucking Moana. Moana's not there to help you, sis. <laughs> Moana almost died too. You didn't see the volcano throw the lava at her? Just keep swimming. Exactly. Wait, actually, I could do five months if I'm going to live. LOL. I'll be taking... I'll be talking to y'all from the ocean. How you going to talk from, from the submarine, though? Because after a while, I don't think a submarine can function on its own for five months. Don't you need, like, fuel or something for the submarine? And then food. Some food don't last. Unless you are great with science and you know how to... You did that technology that they're doing in, I think, China, where they, they learn how to grow their own plants inside a house. No... Sunlight needed. Oh, what the submarine will do? You'll probably die. <laughs> probably die. Okay. 
Next question. Would y'all rather put your face for five seconds this close in front of flames or have acid thrown on your face? So acid thrown on your face or flames in front of your face, burning your face for five seconds. Flames, fish aren't friends, uh, friends aren't food, they're friends. Exactly. Have you ever done a house tour video? No. Fire, close to the flames, 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 I can't afford a tan, but damn. Oof. Oof. Either way, they're both terrible. Because the acid, it could eat away at your bone. And then your face, either way, your face is gone. Oof. I don't not, not get acid burns, people. Not, oh, let's not get acid burns, people. Oof, shit. Okay, everybody chose flames, so flames won. Okay. Next question. The acid hits a different way. I feel like the acid will just keep eating, like keep eating at like your skull and and shit like that. It'll keep eating at your tendons and your your bones and your 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 eyes. Girls, we can't wear no eyelashes no more because they are eyelashes. Yeah, acid be thirsty. They it don't stop. But I think there's a way that you could like stop the acid from burning. Like um, I remember I watched this. Um, I don't know why. Don't judge me why I watch these type of stuff. I like, I have a thing with like murder and like forensic file stuff, like criminal, like murder scenes and stuff. Um, or people who've been through drastic damaging body stuff. Like I like watching that. And I watched this, there was something going on in London where almost every week somebody had was in the hospital because somebody threw acid on that person's face every week it was crazy like it was dangerous and stuff like that nobody could leave, didn't want to leave their house because it could happen to anybody and the girl there was a story where a girl she had her boyfriend i guess and he was about and she was about to leave him and he asked her, he said, okay, you go um, get me this bowl from the kitchen. And she went to go get it for him. And she gave it to him. And she was like, okay, why are you just standing there? And he threw the whole, bottle, the whole bowl at her and it was acid. It was eating away her a face. And he was calling the ambulance and the ambulance was like, oh, just wash her face off. Tell her to wash her the acid off with cold water and soap. Because it'll help with the burning. No, I don't think it was acid. It was something else from a chemical for a car. And it had, and the fumes in it was strong as acid. Like, it's burning. But you could wash it off with um, water and soap. Um, and it'll stop with the burning. It'll stop the burning. But if you don't, it'll literally eat away at your face just like acid. And um, so he was on the phone with the medical people. And they were telling him, oh, just tell her to do that. And he wouldn't tell her to help her. He just wanted her face to get damaged. And she's screaming. And the people, the medical people is like, why aren't you telling her? And he's like, oh, just sit down. Like, the boyfriend telling her, oh, just sit down, blah, blah. You seen that? Yeah, so y'all know what I'm, what story I'm talking about. Antifreeze. I don't know if it was antifreeze, but all I know is that it was a chemical that you could use for cars or something, cleaning, I don't know. But it was strong like acid, and it was eating away her flesh. And he was just letting that happen. On the Truth of Dare movie, she covers her head with with some paste thing before throwing the acid on her head. I don't remember what it was, though. Uh, I don't remember either, but that shit didn't work because it was that. Well, that man's had freeze. I don't know. Moral of the story, Pax... Pack some dial soap when going to London. Gotcha. I've seen that. That was so messed up. Yeah, that was terrible. Okay, but yeah. Next question. Yeah, I have two to 
Oh, what happened to her? The girl with the story. How bad did it get? Or did she die? She didn't die. You won't die, but her she don't have a face. Like, she, like she has her face, but it's not. It's like it looks like like. Have you ever seen people that got burned when they're young, and like their skin is kind of like stretched as they get older? Yeah, they, her face is disfigured, basically. Um. So, okay. Another one. Would you rather face off? All right. Would you rather? Yeah, I have two choices, right? If this involves money, I'ma say a hundred thousand dollars, right? Y'all have to cut off your eyelids. Or cut off uh, uh your tongue like this much. That much of your tongue, cut off your eyelids or cut off a piece of your tongue, for a hundred thousand dollars. Oof! I don't know why I'm so graphic. I'm sorry. I watch too many forensic files, y'all. I'm sorry. But y'all gotta answer it. Tongue. Okay. Neither, baby. We staying poor. Tongue. <laughs> oh, you know what's that? I could no. I need my eyelids because I need to do my cat eyes and stuff. Tongue, eyelids. I can skin graft to get my lids back with that bread. Oof! I can't. I already. If you wear makeup, you understand this corner. Like when y'all have heavy makeup, this corner you're wiping it constantly it starts hurting. So imagine actually cutting off your lid, bro. Ooh. You wouldn't be able to speak without your tongue. But you're not cutting off your whole tongue. So you're probably just going to have a speech problem, but you're not cutting off your whole tongue. It's like this much. I would do my tongue. Because sign language. Right. <laughs> If this bitch don't get off my life, I hate, oh my God, I can't stand you. Oh my God. Bitch said sign language, but it's true. There's sign language. You could get a cardboard. No, get a pen and paper. You can write what you want. <laughs> don't people already like split their tongues though? Yeah, like the lizard man, he did the thing right there but the thing is when you split it down the middle your tongue is still closed so you can still speak properly but if it's like right here hanging off you can't like if you think about it when we talk it always touches our teeth like up here like when we talk so imagine like talking like that you're gonna be like like talking like that like it sounds weird try it like try talking without your tongue your tongue touching your teeth in the back. Is you're gonna be like, oh well, like it sounds weird. Purple kisses. Yes. What time is it? Um, four twenty in the morning. Y'all bomb. Good night. It's four nineteen. Have work in the afternoon. I don't work. <laughs> try it. Cut off your tongue. Mm -hmm. I didn't say cut off your tongue. I just said. It tuck it in. I'm sorry, I can't cut my eyelids and 100,000 is enough for me to cut half my tongue. Um, I don't need a little more though. You're so pretty. Oh, thank you. Damn, y'all lit. Y'all staying up with me. I love y'all. Y'all so fun. Okay. Y'all ready for the next 420 smoke break? Ain't no smoke break. You can smoke and watch. Smoke and watch unless you you unless you're doing something else that you need to stop and you need to be occupied like that. I don't condone that type of stuff. It's one eighteen here. Back from now I'm watching. Okay, okay. All right, next question. I'm at work. Leave at six. You two live right now. Right. All right. Next question. Would y'all rather? Oh my gosh. This might be painful. 
I know it's graphic, but we gonna do this. Would y'all rather cut off your nipples with the areola and everything? Cut off the areola and your nipple? Or for the ladies, cut off your clitoris for one million dollars. And men, you gotta cut the, the tip of your dick off. <laughs> nipples. Yeah, nipple the whole y'all know the, the color after the nipple, the areola, y'all gotta cut that off. I knew you were gonna say that. Or your clitoris. And men, you gotta cut off your nipples or the tip of your pee pee. Nipples. Oof, girl, I got my nipples pierced. You know how bad that hurts? Imagine cutting it off. Oh, my God. I mean, but either way, we could put a new nipple on. We could, we could, we have enough money to cut it off. I'll get my areola tatted after. Right, I'll get it a heart shaped. She said click. Oh! Sis, I think. You're mentally damaged. You're cutting off your clit. Your clit. Oh, you won't be horny no more. You understand that? You know what's that life? It's a terrible thing. Terrible. Terrible. You can't have orgasms. You can't. Bitch. Oh. They actually do that in some countries. Oh yeah. Some countries in Africa, they um some tribes because they do that so that um I think something for marriage, they cut off the lips and the clit of the of the females. And sometimes, yeah, uh the genital um mutilation. And sometimes they stitch up the vagina hole. But I heard they do that so because they don't want the girls to have sensation or because they want them to get married. Like, that's the way that it shows that they're married, something like that. Yeah, it happens. Mm -hmm. And I saw another one where they use hard rocks to mold the breast down so it doesn't grow. Like, the mother does it because they don't want their child to get raped or something. So they mold, they use hot rocks to mold it down. And, like, they showed documentary like i i love history i love learning about stuff like that and like different culture um traditions of what they believe in and stuff just so we i could get an understanding and the mother was trying to do it to the girl like on the camera and you saw the daughter like screaming like no 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 and the person that was filming was like no don't do it and stuff but she does it to her all the time um I'm calling it a nice says good to see you smile. Have some fun catch up with you next one. All right. I heard of general mutilation on girls, but I didn't know it made them lose feeling or whatever. Of course. And once you once we lose, because if you think about it for our clitoris, that's like a giant that's like a miniature nerve ending. That's just a ball of nerves. The same thing with our nipples. It's just a ball of nerves. So once you cut that off, you won't get no sensation. No sensation. And if you really think about it, it's, it's facts, honestly, if y'all think about it. People think that mo it, it happens to some women, not all women, but a lot of people think that we actually feel like, I don't even know how to explain it. The vagina hole is a birth canal. That's all it is. The real pleasures comes for our clitoris if you think about it it doesn't come from the vagina hole the only reason why we enjoy it is because of the pressure that we feel or sometimes like is the pressure that makes us do those moans but all the real sensation comes from the clitoris if you think about it and it's not even if you think about it it's a scientific fact and to be honest that's why when like i was watching some show that was on the radio 
and it was a sex ed lady. She was talking about that. She was like, I would have guys saying, oh, I'm a, I'm about to go beat that pussy up. And she was like, oh, can you beat my clit up? That's where all my nerve endings is at. Like, okay, whoop de doo Because if you think about it, ladies, try it like, because I tried it. Try it with your man. And, like, you could still be in a mood, but just, you could literally relax. We don't even have to make a noise. We don't have to. We'll still feel the pleasure a little bit. We'll feel because of the pressure and because our body, like, we want to enjoy it. But really, all you feel is a dick going in and out. In and out. That's it. If you think about it, I'm just, you know, if you think about it. Okay, let me read these comments. I read a general, oh, I read that. Oh, damn, I never knew that one. Forever remembering the human centipede three. Oof, girl. It's to keep their purity from marriage and so they don't experience pleasure. Husbands are the only ones who are supposed to have pleasure. Oof, facts. For real, I can't catch one if you not still stimulating my clit. Seriously, these dudes be all over the place and them. Exactly. 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 So... To be honest, we are so great at pretending. <laughs> Sorry to disappoint any of you guys that's watching this. But honestly, if you think about it, because I, I tried it. Like, I just, I was like, oh, I could literally be on my phone while, like, you know. Yep, do it all the time for, honestly. Like, we honestly, there's... That's why I'm like, I get kind of confused when girls be like, oh, no, I don't need a vibrator. I don't need a touch. I just need the dick. And I'm like, sis, you're a lie. <laughs> like, you're a lie. Like, I don't know what there's. I don't know. I don't know. That's why I believe a G spot on the inside is a myth. Because at the end of the day, even if you find a G spot on the inside, you still got to use your clitoris because that's how everything works. Hello. Uh -huh. Yes, you may. Yes, you can get wet without having sex yet. But the real pleasure is at your clitoris. Ha ha ha. Your vagina is just a birth canal. That is. That's all it is. That's sex. Uh, Nope, give me the tongue. Exactly. That tongue. Look, exactly. Hello. Anyway, we got to go back to these questions because well, I think I, I told the guys a little bit too much of the secrets. What kind of phone do you have? Samsung. Ha! iPhone suck. I got a Samsung. Let me clean my camera a little bit better. Hold on. Let me, let me clean this a little Let me clean. There we go. Okay. Next question. Y'all ready for the next questions? Wait, nobody even... Oh, yeah, 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 I did. Yeah, I said nipples. Okay. Next question. Would y'all rather... That's nine over here. I don't know what this phone is i think it's a note oh here it is uh the note 10 something like that this one this boom that's what i have i just got it it's like fourteen hundred dollars i didn't pay though <laughs> um okay questions hello all right would you rather Have, <laughs> would you rather have your legs skinned off, like someone skinning the skin off your legs and eating your flesh of your legs? Or would you rather have engraved shit in your back like with that hot tool 
You know, like the old school days before you finish the question. Why you like this? Because I watch a lot of, you know where I got that from? The skin thingy, the skinned off and eating the flesh. Y- y'all remember that movie Hostel? When those people would like kidnap, well, they have women flirting with men or like men seducing women and they'll take them to the hotel and get them drunk and then they kidnap them and they skin them and eat them for money like some of them would eat them for money or some of them would just torture them for money branding definitely though same sis i'm demented yeah i like i like shit like that nah i'm done the lava eat me here's what we're not going to do yo hostel was crazy exactly i get all of these ideas from like forensic files um uh, something 44 hours where they got to find a murderer or they won't find them at all. Hostel, the human centipede and shit like that. Like, uh, I pick Brandy. Yeah, I'll pick Brandy. Oh, I got this one for y'all. I got this one. Would y'all rather... This is another thing that I saw. I think it happened in Africa. In one of the countries in Africa. Would y'all rather... This is so graphic. Oh my gosh. This is true. This is real life stuff. It, it really bothered me, but it's, it really ha- it happens, right? You So you probably like Saw too. Yeah, I love Saw. I love all the Saws. I watched all of them. All of them. Crazy shit. Host- but host- I feel like Hostel was worse. Because that's like... That's like almost everybody's nightmare. We're going to experience a new country and, you know, we want to explore. We just want to travel and, like, meet new people that we think is nice. You see, this is why I'm so glad I was raised in New York because I was brought up to be a bit, well, kind of to be a bitch to people. Like, we don't say good morning. Like, people out here in Florida, like, I walk outside, they be like, good morning. And I'm like, oh, they want to fight. So, well, that's my New York mentality. I don't know. Nobody says good morning. Nobody's high. Nobody talks to people that they don't know. Out here, they say hi to everybody, have a whole conversation in Florida. I can't do that. No, sorry. You might want to fight me. I'm not with it. But, um, yeah. So, hostel, like, you go to a foreign country and then, like, they meet new people at a bar and... They go to a hotel, and then you wake up, and you're in a chair strapped up, and you're about to get your kneecaps drilled in. Like, oh, 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 my gosh. Man, I can't. I can't. All right, but next question. This is something that really happens, but I'm I'm a act at this. So, in Africa, there was something going on with a government. I forgot what country in Africa. But something going on with, with the government. They kidnapped, like during during war, it was believed that um for power they find an innocent. So a child, an innocent being, and they cut the heart out of that child alive. And they drink the blood and they eat the heart to get power for war. <sighs> And the guy, he was like, he would make all his soldiers do that. Isn't that crazy, though? And that still happens today. Today. Like, don't y'all ever wonder? I'm not even going to ask you that question because I feel like that's very graphic. I mean, it doesn't bother me because I like, I like knowing about stuff like that. Like, I don't like it like that. Like, I don't think it's okay. But it just, it makes me interested. Like, really? Because it's something, that shit don't happen out here. It don't happen here. But it's like, yo, that shit really happens other places? It's crazy. Yeah, there's a whole, go on YouTube. There's a whole documentary. Like, they don't show it, of course, because he said, he was like, oh, I'm a changed man. I found, I found God and stuff. I just watched something like that in Liberia. Yes, I think it was in Liberia. Something with the government. And I think uh, they found the governor and they, they tortured him and everything and stuff. It was It's crazy, yo. 
the shit that happens in these other countries. It's crazy. There's another one where um, I think it's, I don't know if it's Ethiopia or it's probably more of an Indian country. Like something like that. I don't know. But they make their daughters eat over 5,000 calories a day. 5,000. That's a lot of food. They eat all day because it said that you need to be fat to find a husband. So they make their child, starting at the age of eight years old, to make them hurry up and grow up, like look more older. They need to be fat to be a husband. I seen a documentary about that. Right? Isn't that crazy? Oh my God. I can't. I can't. And that's like solid. That's like. I would throw up. Can I sis? Love you. Thanks. Bye, Darius. Isn't that crazy? Crazy. And it's like. It also makes me wonder. What do they think when they see like. You know. America, like, their lifestyle. What do they think? Do they think we're crazy because, like, we're marrying men the way we look, the skinny or something? Or, like, because we have our clitoris and stuff? I was force-fed once, and that was terrible. Oh, my gosh, girl. I don't even want to imagine that. Because my body, the way I naturally am, I could eat all day. I could eat all day, but it won't stay in my system. It just goes out because all I eat is fruits and vegetables. So I use the bathroom like twice a day or even three times a day, depending how much I eat. So I like I get stuffed, but I could eat all day because I don't have like for people that, you know, still eat like animal products. I'm sure when I eat meat, you stuff and you're like, oof, I'm ready for bed. I'm stuffed. I don't get like that. Like, I get stuff, but it comes out. And I can eat again. Because it flows through. So I can't imagine what they're eating. They're eating just straight carbs. When I eat bread, I get like that. I get stuffed. I'm like, oof. I had just peanut butter jelly sandwich. Or I had my vegan sandwiches. And I'm stuffed because of the bread with the carbs. Eating that 5,000 calories a day. Oh my gosh, it's crazy. And that's normal. So they probably like look at us like, oh my gosh. People think the stuff we do is weird too, right? Exactly, are we crazy? Remember our normal is usually weird to other places, vice versa, right? I guess everywhere is different. Everywhere is different. You don't even have to guess that it is. A scientific fact is so different. We are in different, it's like different worlds. <clears throat> even even in America, like, for example, in Florida, everybody says, yes, ma'am, no, ma'am, yes, so, no, sir. In New York, we don't say that. But, like, in the South, they find it disrespectful if you don't say that. And I'm like, well, I'm not saying that because that's weird, like, for what? I'm not in the military. But people out here, they don't see it just a military thing. They see it as a respect. Thing, but I wasn't raised like that. We don't need to see that. We don't need to say that. I still don't say that. I'm not gonna change. I don't know. That's just an example. Like it's completely different. It's like okay, like you grew up different. I did too. All right. Anyways, back to the questions. Um, would you rather? Try. Yeah, I have five minutes. Right. You have to try to find a way to deactivate a bomb that's in your city. Everybody pick you. So you have five minutes to deactivate a bomb in your city. Everybody will be wiped out in that city. Or, oh my gosh, I don't know why I'm so, I don't know. I'm like, I don't know. Or you have to use that same bomb and put it in somebody else's city. Just throw it. So you save everybody in your city 
by trying to deactivate it in five minutes if you could figure it out, or you just take that bomb and throw it in somebody else's city. <laughs> throw the bomb. <laughs> Y'all are terrible people. Terrible. Terrible. <laughs> he said, just put it on a city, make my job, make my job easier. Ooh, why am I zoomed in? Oh my god, how do I zoom in? Ooh, there we go. I blow up where my ex lives now. I'm dead. Not hot potato. Oops. <laughs> but how y'all gonna get that bomb to the other city in five minutes? I bet y'all didn't think about that. How y'all gonna get that bomb to another city in five minutes? I bet y'all didn't think about that. Jet. I don't even think a jet will make it. You're going to have to just throw it out the window and it's going to land wherever it lands. <laughs> the old-fashioned way. I'm dead. Y'all funny. Oh, my gosh. With Trump. Ooh. I'm dead. Oh, my God. My neck hurts, y'all. Oh, God. I need to go to a, chiro a chiropractor or something. All right, next question. Would you rather... <sighs> oh my gosh. Would you rather lick fur off another animal, like a cat, lick their fur for 10 minutes, or lick their teeth for 10 minutes <laughs> ah, get lick their fur Ugh. i'm like this <laughs> teeth yeah i'm not gonna lie i'd rather lick my dog's teeth I rather lick my dog's teeth because my teeth, my dog's teeth, they're pretty white. She got pretty good teeth, and she drinks a lot of milk. She loves milk. She yes, she eats meat, and it's disgusting. I'll be grossed out. But what if you, what if you lick their fur, and they have like ticks and shit, ticks and fleas and shit, you know? And then. It's not all the time that you wash your dog or your cat. But the mouth, they have their saliva. Their saliva, if y'all didn't know, like, their saliva, that's why when they lick themselves, when they're hurt or something, their saliva is kind of like a medicine for their body. It cleans it and stuff. So their mouth is kind of clean, you know? I wouldn't do it on a regular, but, yeah teeth but you know, they say their mouth is cleaner than ours it is their mouth is they have you know they're built a certain way their anatomy is built a certain way because naturally they can't go and hop in the bathtub and wash their body you know that's why everything is built a certain way for a reason you're so smart Oh, thank you. But if you really think about it, like, hello. Like, that's why I always, that's another reason why I'm vegan, too. Um, Mainly because my human, as a human being, my body, like, my anatomy. Yes, I could survive off of eating meat. I could survive. But it doesn't mean that it's okay for our body. Is not meant for our body. If you look at our digestive system, our digestive system as a human being's anatomy, it can only really fully digest vegetables and fruits and seeds, nuts, like that. Compared to if our body, if we eat meat, 
it just sits and it takes a long time to digest. That's why all the natural stuff that meat has, such as um, stuff that could um, produce your cancer cell development, a heart disease, diabetes, is sitting in your body and it's taking a long time to digest. So all those chemicals that it naturally has in it, not, on, um, not only that the natural stuff that's in it, but also the stuff that the government or whatever injects into it, like the hormones, the, um, the antibiotics and the steroids that make people fat and even more sicker, it starts to spread throughout our human body and it's digesting so slow. Fun fact, just to let y'all know. Um, but yeah, our body isn't made for that. You see our hands is made to grab fruits, vegetables, pick our teeth. Yes, we have canines, but our teeth is meant to hold and grind. That's why we have a full mouth. If you think about it, like a lion, they like, they have like actual canine teeth. They have claws because they could dig and they could bite and tear the flesh off an animal. If you try to bite, bite a cow, you're just going to tickle the cow. We cannot tear into a cow with our teeth. No, our teeth is meant to grind fruits and vegetables, seeds, just like our digestive system is meant to digest that. It's not meant for meat. That's why it's so chewy. We can't crush it down like a fucking lion. We can't do that. Fun fact, but yeah. Scientific proof. It's not a vegan talk. It's scientific proof. Just look at your anatomy. Don't be stuck up just because you eat meat. Just be smart about it, you know? But, um, yeah. <sighs> Next question. Would you rather... I'm vegetarian and slowly going vegan. Yay! Take your time, sis. Yay! Um, okay. Would you rather pierce into your cheek, going in and out the other side of your face, have a whole piercing like that in, you got to do it yourself. Pierce it all the way through, like that. Or pull out your teeth. You have to pull out two of your teeth. Your two healthy teeth. It could be any teeth you choose. But would you rather force a needle into your cheek or pull out your teeth? Or you die. Which ones? Do a piercing in through this cheek and out through the other cheek or pull out two teeth? Needle for sure. Yeah, I need my teeth. We ain't gonna get this back. We can't get our teeth back. All right, y'all. It's 4.49. I think I'm gonna ask like one more question and then I'm gonna like go shower and relax and eat some cereal. I'm picking the tiniest and the sharpest needle. Oh no, it's not gonna be. You know, you, this is thick skin. So a tiny needle will like break it. You need, you got thick skin. Well, actually, the face, the skin on her face is a little bit thinner, but that's a lot of meat to pierce through. Oof. All right, we have people. Oh, oh my gosh. You guys see my eyeball? do I zoom out? Oh my gosh. How do I zoom out? Oh, there you are. Oh my god, I just keep zooming in. Oh, there we go. <laughs> Thank you. Your makeup so bomb. I think people fall asleep. I think everybody's falling asleep. Alright, I'm about to be off this. I had fun playing this game with y'all. That was fun. I might do the same game tomorrow. Bye. Bye.